ready, ready, ready. Hello everyone, video number 30 on Excel keyboard shortcuts and the last one of this series, which I'm very happy because I really wanted to share all these keyboard shortcuts with all of you. Really, thank you for watching all these videos if you make it all the way up to this one, number 30. And it's about control S and it's about saving your life, saving your work. I've seen people just working hours and hours on their workbook and never willing to press these two keystrokes right here that are sacrosanct for me. Okay, so Excel crashed and that say or not became not responsive and they lost everything. They lost all the work that they had in place and which is a bit of a pity because uh, I think uh, it's just the they may be depending on autosave. I, I'm not depending on autosave. I actually do control S all the time, really all the time. I'm pressing these two keystrokes right here all the time. So, for example, if I just move right here into this uh, workbook right here and maybe I just placed uh, a sum to this entire column and control enter and then maybe copy this formula to this one right here also do a sum here and also do a sum here and also do bold in here control V and then I do control S I'm done for the day that's what I wanted to finish on this workbook control S and then that's it the workbook has been saved but if you just get used to do this every like five minutes or even less two minutes or even one minute you really like advancing your work and this is really helpful i think control s is really sacrosanct to know on excel and if you're an excel user you should learn this keyboard shortcut because again i've seen people working for hours and not saving their work once and then excel crashes and they lost it all very depressing so let's go see the agenda real quick because that's say i really wanted to leave this keyboard shortcut as the last one as the most important one of all if really and it's just that like why is it the most important of all because it really saves your life really all your work all your effort all your sweat all your tears yeah you're saving it and then there's a difference between save as with uh control s that for example you may working um with this workbook but you just saved it but then now you want to leave this version as is and maybe work on another version that you may want to pivot something so that's why you do f2 which is save as so if you do f12 right here f12 invokes the save as window or the save as interface to save this workbook with a different name and here we just can call it and just say number zero third version two and then enter and now that workbook has been renamed or you are now on workbook 030 version 2 okay that's the difference now if i'm saving i'm saving up to this version but i forget about the the other one the other one has been saved up to the other name that it had so again f12 to sort of save as for saving your work with a different name with a different version if you want to and then control s sacrosanct to know to really just save your work when you need to and that's it for this entire video this is it probably very short but i hope that you really take it home because it's really really important to know this keyboard shortcut really sacrosanct sacrosanct and that's it um uh i may come up with new videos on uh, new keyboard shortcuts but we'll see I do want to make a list all the ones that i share are my pareto of keyboard shortcuts the ones that i work every day uh with them all the time the other ones i know may 100 keyboard shortcuts more but sometimes those are not my everyday business these that i have shared with you these 30 keyboard shortcuts are my pareto the ones that i work every day and i hope uh you can learn some of them and hopefully you are using them as well with your uh work in excel so take care, everyone, and thank you for watching all these videos. Bye-bye.